Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to be reviewing this GE Pro Outdoor TV Antenna. It runs about $50 on Amazon, comes with a mounting pole, and claims an 80 mile range. How well will this antenna actually work? Stay tuned to find out. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. One of the first things I have to bring up for those of you who maybe see me for the first time is that there's no such thing as an HD antenna. The whole HD digital thing came from the digital transition of 2009. There was a lot of misinformation about TV signals, including the myth that you need a special antenna in order to pick up HD frequencies. The reality is that an antenna is an antenna. It doesn't matter if the signal is analog or digital. An antenna will pick it up. HD and digital are just keywords antenna companies use to improve their online search results of their antennas. It also confuses people into thinking they're buying a special antenna when in reality they might be buying a piece of junk. HD and digital means nothing when it comes to an antenna. What does matter is the frequencies the antenna is designed to pick up. There are two main bands that TV stations broadcast on, VHF and UHF. VHF TV stations broadcast on channels 2 through 13 and typically require a longer antenna element to be picked up, while UHF TV stations, which broadcast on channels 14 through 36, are typically better picked up with smaller antenna elements. If you look at this antenna, you'll see these long elements here are designed to pick up high VHF channels 7 through 13, while these smaller antenna elements here are designed for UHF channels 14 through 36. It's also important to understand that most TV stations do not broadcast on a channel number you may know them as. For example, in Philadelphia, there's an NBC 10. The average person would think, oh, they broadcast on channel 10, so I need to make sure I have a good VHF antenna. They actually broadcast on UHF channel 28. The same can be said for most TV stations across the United States. The current digital TV standard allows them to broadcast on a different RF channel than what is shown on your TV set. To find out what channels your local TV stations are broadcasting on, go to antennaweb.org type in your address and click that little check mark that says the antenna will be installed 30 feet above ground level, even if it's not, and it will provide you a list of stations you can likely pick up at your location. Look at the RF channel on each station. That's the channel the stations are broadcasting on. So for example, WBRE 28 actually broadcasts on VHF channel 11. Now, if you don't see any channels listed on antennaweb.org, don't freak out and assume that you'll get no channels with an antenna. The website tends to underestimate how many channels a person can receive with an antenna. You can also use the FCC DTV reception maps or rabbitears.info. I attached links to both in the description of my video. So now that I got all the antenna myths out of the way, I can talk about this antenna. Design is comparable to other basic small directional antennas designed to moderate to strong signal areas. The build quality isn't that bad. It's not the worst, but not 100% the best. The 80 mile range claim is definitely an exaggeration on this antenna. If you're trying to pick up TV stations from 80 miles away, you're going to need a large antenna setup that looks like this. Not a little antenna like this. While this does have UHF and high VHF capability, it does not have any low VHF needed for TV stations that broadcast on channels 2 through 6. Understand that most areas do not have low VHF stations. Just because you have an NBC4 in your area doesn't mean that they broadcast on channel 4. Refer to the links that I mentioned earlier in this video to find out what channels your local TV stations are broadcasting on. It's a new era for antenna testing on my YouTube channel. I've moved to a new location and will now be testing out outdoor antennas with new TV stations at 30 feet above the ground. I'm also using the Televis H30 to show very technical data for those of you who are tech-minded. That data is available in a separate video attached in the description of this video. 
Here are the new TV stations I'll be testing out moving forward. I retested two popular antennas, the small GE Attic Pro and the large Channel Master CM3020. From left to right, you'll see the TV station, the call letters, the RF channel the station broadcasts on, and the results of the previous two antennas I tested out. All TV stations are about 42 miles away. If you decide to purchase this antenna, please use one of the affiliate links in the pinned comment below or in the description of my video to help support my YouTube channel. The signal on CBS3, which broadcasts on UHF channel 30, was about the same on this antenna compared to the last two antennas I tested out. Now, don't let this fool you into thinking that the small GE Yagi is as good as a Channel Master CM3020. You'll see why in just a bit. The signal on NBC10, which broadcasts on UHF channel 28, was a bit lower on this antenna compared to the last two models I tried out. The signal on WPHL17, which broadcasts on UHF channel 17, was about the same on this antenna compared to the other two antennas. The signal on Fox29, which broadcasts on UHF channel 31, was a tiny bit lower on this antenna compared to the other two antennas I tried out. Finally, the signal on WHYY, which broadcasts on VHF channel 13, had trouble being picked up with this antenna compared to the larger channel master. Understand that most small directional antennas struggle to receive this very weak VHF channel. This antenna performed comparable to most other small directional antennas I tried out. Did an alright job, but doesn't have the best gain on both VHF and UHF. What this means is if your signals are on the fair to strong side, it may work just fine. If your signals are weak, you may have problems, especially during bad weather conditions. The 80 mile range claim is definitely an exaggeration. I would say that this antenna would be great if you live within 30 or 40 miles of the broadcast tower with limited obstruction in the way. If you have a lot of trees around or if your area is mountainous and there are many hills around, I would recommend a larger antenna, especially if you have several VHF signals in your market. Feel free to use my YouTube channel as a resource to research antennas. I also offer antenna recommendations on my website at antennamanpa.com. I go through your unique reception situation, take a look at the signal strength on all the frequencies in your area, and make a specific recommendation on what antenna will work best for you based on my experience testing out over 50 antenna models, installing them in four TV markets. Antennas are not a one-size-fits-all model, and investing in a custom antenna recommendation from me can prevent you from wasting hundreds of dollars on antennas and other equipment that may not be suited for your area. Whether you decide to purchase this antenna or another outdoor antenna, make sure it's properly grounded to prevent static buildup, which can attract a lightning strike. I attached a video on how to ground an antenna in the description of this video. Thanks for watching this YouTube video. A huge thanks to Aaron, Craig, Sawyer, Chris, Tom, and everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord and you'd like to support the channel while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates on when I post new videos, I attached a link in the description of this video to my email list. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting antenna related videos and have an awesome day.